What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steven. Today I'll be going over the Bandai Movie Monster series Godzilla Singular Points Manda. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not that much going on here. But anyways, main reason I picked this up, just because I think the designs from the new anime look cool. I haven't checked it out yet because it uh, doesn't release stateside till June. And just wait until it gets an official release before I'll uh, go to watch it. And I always kind of uh, enjoyed the character of Manda. Granted, don't have too many representations of him in my collection, so it'd be kind of cool to actually get something. Now, <laughs> is this going to be a great representation? Well, uh, find that out here in a few. But anyways, without further ado, for its uh, little confinement prison thing, uh, you get the image of the character on the front here. Lots of reds, blacks. Uh, inside, just some legal mumbo jumbo, some more main down the top corner with the Godzilla copyright here on the bottom. And on the back here just has the logo for the poster. But anyways, let's uh, get him out of his confinement. Yeah. Alright, so now that we got the pool noodle opened up out of its little confinement, first and foremost, um, yeah. <laughs> He's kind of just a stick. Could be fun though. I like, get the dog. Shen, Shen, you want to play with the stick? Want to play with the stick, Shin? Hold on a sec. Shinji! Shinji! You see the stick? You see the stick? You don't like the stick? You do a good boy. He knows not to chew on the toys. Now granted, if this thing was a stuffed animal, he would have murdered the crap out of it. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah. Um, Design-wise, there isn't really that much going on here because even like the arms are tucked in. So it just... Kind of lays there. Uh, it's more or less the same problem we had with the previous one with the aquatic Godzilla, where it just kind of chills <laughs> on your table. Um, there isn't really that much creative you can get with it. Uh, same thing, you, I would recommend trying to get some stands for this so you can have it at least kind of looking like it's swimming. Though, then again, look, I appreciate that it's got a bit of character to it. It's not just a straight line. Like, it's more or less kind of looks like it's swimming. Kind of. Personally, I think I would have liked it to have been maybe a little bit more exaggerated. Just to really kind of convey that it's moving through water. Um, but other than that, detail, like, the actual detail for this thing was actually really nice. Uh, where you got the head here. Which has a similar thing, like, with the Aquatic Gods, where you have the little horn on the back here. And then he's got this little feeler on the front of his face, which kind of gives him that old, like, Fu Manchu mustache. I have the eyes here, which actually has some detail to him, too, with the pupil, which is nice. He's got some teeth. Inside of his mouth is also detailed. Looks like he's got some, like, separating rows of teeth, too, but only the front sections are painted. Uh, more or less kind of similar thing going on with the bottom of the mouth. And it's just done in a really dark blood red. Then he's got the little fins <laughs> on the side of the body. He's got the spiky bits on the top here. You can see for the scaling too. It actually has this nice uh, reptilian-like pattern going along throughout the entirety of the tail. And the nice thing too is, is that he's actually painted all the way throughout. Um, with the Godzilla, it was missing a section here at the back of the tail. But this guy actually has the silver. While not consistently, you get some green bits still showing here and there. Uh, it still looks pretty nice. And they had the little tip at the end of the tail that kind of looks like Godzilla's spine. And on the bottom, get some segmenting sections. Done in a light flesh color. You have his little arms on the front here. Which kind of reminds me of like the... Um, the punching shrimps, the manta shrimps, in a way. Or it just has the little claw on the front. Or just pretty much most like insectile legs. But it still has like the scale patterning that you have on the back of the kaiju. And then for the head here, on the side, I kind of assume that's gills. I wish I saw the card hanging around here. Here's the card. I guess it's kind of like a fin. On the side here. Oh yeah, that's definitely fins on the back here too. Although it shows that he's got a little more claws here. 
than what it's showing on this one. Like, it just has that one giant one on the back here. So for appearances, looks really good. Like, the scaling's nice. I like the paint job. But there's just... <laughs> there's not much you can really do with this. And in terms of, like, play value, too, because these guys are actually fairly inexpensive and more or less meant for kids. Um, there's not much I could really like think i would really have done with this as a kid outside of just like having gods all hold on to and smack onto things you know uh, but for its articulation head can actually rotate unlike the godzilla which is nice uh, you also got rotation here at the center and at the back of the tail so you can sort of get him look like he's doing something unique Sort of. So for some quick comparisons, here we have the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla Singular Point Man deck compared to some other Singular Point figures with the Aquatic Godzilla and Angerus. And here it is next to Godzilla and Jet Jaguar from Singular Point. And here's next to the SH Monster Shin Godzilla and the NECA Hong Kong Brawl Gypsy Danger, which I will say, he's almost as long as Shin's tail. And Gypsy can hold him as a weapon. Here are some random comparisons. Here he is next to some NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures with Raphael in disguise and the Baby Turtle from the accessory pack. For some more random comparisons, here it is next to the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Green Zeo Ranger, and the Marvel Legends Spider Gwen from Into the Spider Verse. So, overall, for the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla Singular Point Manda figure, this guy's he's fine. Like, I think in terms of detailing and as, as a representation of the character from the anime, I think it does a nice job. Shinji, what? So, look at this. He's like, Daddy, why aren't we playing right now? Daddy. I'm sorry. I gotta get the video done so I can get it out to the Rangers. Is it okay? No. Casey's making it better. Okay. But in terms of just like an actual figure, it's definitely one of the most boring Bandai vinyls I've ever gotten. Like, usually they're not like super posable, anyways, but it's just like character wise, it just kind of almost appears to me to be. What? I gotta finish the video. Mr. Weiner, do you want potty? I know I'm making food right now, but you gotta wait. Anyways, he's super distracting right now. I forgot where I was at. This is why you're usually upstairs, so you, daddy, you don't bug daddy while he's doing his videos. Because you get super sad because the door's closed and you can't run around. But because if I leave the door open, there's the AC that blows and it gets super loud on the camera. What? What? I'm sure we'll get to it in a minute. Get your tweet. You like tweets? You want to tweet? You like your treats? You're a good boy? Who's a good boy? Is Shinji a good boy? I gotta wait a minute, okay? Personally, I would only really get this if you really like the character or if you like Godzilla Singular Point, then this is a fine buy. Uh, just for Godzilla general collecting purposes, you could probably skip out on this. The only thing that kind of bumps it up a little bit more for me is just how infrequent manda gets figures <laughs> um because the only other company i know that's making them right now is ymsf has a manda um but outside of that it's like slim pickings so for like the 15 ish bucks that i paid for him i think he's fine just uh not super blown away with it. But what do you guys think? If you guys picked up this figure, what's your favorite Bandai Vino or Anaconda? Just more you think, please let us know in the comments. We also have an Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like people up the day with channel donate. We greatly appreciate it. And I'm going to defeat those guys just by hitting that like button. Subscribe and come your day. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.